the situation is, as, as I started it, um, uh, when I finished playing, I went in as assistant manager at Gloucester City when they moved to um, when they moved to Meadow Park in about 1985-86, and I had a couple of years there as uh, assistant manager, and uh, then we got the sack, and uh, we I went to Alf Church in uh, who were a very good sort of side at the time. I took a young lad called Steve Cottrell there, and um, when he left, uh, I left and decided that this was not right for me in the assistant's role. If I was going to do it, I wanted to do it as a manager rather than as an assistant. And um, I took over a local team, just a local side, uh, new in town, and then after a short space of time, got offered the opportunity to go to Cinderford. And I had five really great years at Cinderford. Um, we won a treble one season, we won a couple of championships, and we had a fantastic FA Cup wrap. Um, I had uh, a former ball playing for me at the time, which a lot of fans would be well known of, in a guy by the name of Chris Price. And uh, then I got the opportunity to, to manage Newport County. Um, as a player, um, I played for Shrewsbury Town to start with, uh, as a youngster, played for the Hereford County side, and um, I went to Newport County under a guy called Colin Addison, that is obviously well familiar to this club, and uh, spent a couple of years there as a, as, as a player, playing for the youth and the reserves. Um, wasn't honestly good enough to make it, but to have the opportunity to go and manage Newport County and help them get back up into the Football League was, was a great opportunity. I had six years there as manager. We won um, a couple of promotions and uh, again we had another fantastic cup run where we played Blackpool and uh, unfortunately like a lot of things happened they brought a new consortium come in and they wanted to bring their own guy in so I left and I went to um, Forest Green Rovers with, uh, with Colin Allison as assistant to Colin and um, from, from there you know I, uh, I found my way back to Gloucester City. Gloucester is my home city um, although I've got strong links to, uh, to, to Hereford, the Herefordshire area from around Dimmock and Lebury. Um, and uh, we saved them from relegation and uh, we, we got a good side together. And then I moved upstairs because of my business commitments and appointed my assistant. We got promotion to the National North League. And at that time, Newport had changed over ownership again and uh, the people wanted me to come back down and be director of football just to, to try and manage the situation and trying to look at taking them from a, a part-time club into a full-time profession. Very much what's looked, looked at here at this present moment in time. So, you know, I, I've experienced that transition from sort of part-time to full-time and the difficulties that come with that. Um, and the rest, they say, is history. We had a fantastic five years as, as director of football there, um, which culminated in, in obviously two promotions. Uh, I think I remember coming here and, and winning 3-2 on a, a fabulous night when we probably didn't deserve to win, but it was a, it was a great occasion. And well, I think we got um, into the playoffs and to play another Welsh rival at Wembley was, was uh, a memory that will last with me forever. So, you know, once I achieved what I set out to achieve, bear in mind as a youngster playing for them, I'm not good enough to make the grade and then having the opportunity to manage them and then having the opportunity to help get the club back into the Football League after 25 years was, 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 um, was a fantastic uh, feeling for myself and a very proud moment. And um, you know, Gloucester City were struggling. I felt that I achieved the aim of getting them back in the league and Gloucester were struggling and I got a phone call to say, look, would you come back and help us? And uh, again, we, we kept them in the, in the National League. And <clears throat> I come back on, on, not the promise, but the, the, the belief that they were going to be back home in Gloucester after two years. And um, four years later, we were still battling. And, uh, you know, I feel for the club. It will always be a club very close to my heart. Um, and I hope they can get back in home sooner rather than later. But it's been 11 years now. And I think anybody that's 
stays at a club like it was four years my second spell there it's a tough ask and it's very draining and um, the infrastructure wasn't in place um, so rather than stay out of football um, I uh, got offered the opportunity to go to Redditch uh, I have to say that was not the right move for me the structure of the club wasn't right um, nice little club and then a friend of mine took over at Tamworth uh, from Andy Morrell and he wanted me to go and join him but the geographical location was not ideal uh, but he captained three of my sides so I said I'd go and help him out uh, on, a, on, a, on a sort of consultancy basis on a non-committal basis and um, when he left I took over the game last Saturday it, it lowered stuff and um, you know it, it, I think it's quite a special club and it's a good club but it's just not right for me and then when the opportunity arose here it was something that, that really appeals to me.